How's it going? Um, I wanted to demonstrate today how to convert a three AAA battery flashlight to use uh, rechargeable lithium batteries. <clears throat> and um, the main obstacle you're going to run against when you're doing this is the difference in voltage because instead of 1.5 volts, these are 3.7. They'll physically fit, but you're more than doubling your voltage, so you will fry your uh, device if you try to just put these in. And um, that doesn't mean it can't be done, though. So I did uh, I did try this in, in two different ways, um, and uh, the first one was not successful. And I'll show you <laughs> what I did. What you have to understand is the difference between connecting batteries in series and in parallel. When you connect batteries in series like this, when you string them together, you increase your voltage. In other words, it adds the voltages of all the batteries together, which is how it comes uh, with the uh, AAAs. So instead of 1.5 volts, you have three of them. You end up with four and a half volts. Um, I tried that with two of these, which gave me, you know, seven point something volts. Uh, it started smoking. It worked, but I wouldn't recommend that. Um, so obviously the answer is to connect them in, ser in parallel. And the, the nice thing about connecting in parallel is that Instead of increasing the voltage, you increase your capacity. So you, you increase your milliamp hours, your, your reserve time, which is ideal for a flashlight. Um, and it's, it's really not hard to do this. Um, what, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go from this configuration. So you have three batteries. They're all pointing, you know, alternating the, the directions they're pointing. You have the positive uh, out to the circuit you have the negative out to the circuit and the other connections are just between the batteries to connect them in series and what we're going to be doing is is going to this configuration where you have your positive and negative out to the circuit but you have them connected in parallel in other words you just connect the negatives and the positives together to not to increase the voltage but to increase your reserve time so it just happens that it's very simple on these flashlights to do this um, <clears throat> because of the fact that the batteries, the two outside batteries are facing the same direction. So I did it on this one. First of all, let me demonstrate that it works. Works great. Um, and now I don't have to throw away and buy alkaline batteries all the time. <clears throat> um, all I had to do, well, first let me show you this one. The way these are connected, here's the positive, or uh, here's the negative to the circuit, here's the positive to the circuit. These two connections, all they do is bridge the battery terminals, which means that all I had to do was to unwind the center uh, coil and, uh, and touch it to the next one. Same as this, I, I unwound this center, this, the center, uh, this center coil was already connected here. So I just unwound it and connected it here. So now you have these two connected and you have these two connected. There's no chance of somebody putting a battery in here because there's no coils. And now, once I, I put these batteries in, I've connected them in parallel. Very simple, and now I don't have to throw away batteries. So, again, all, all you have to do is unwind this spring here <clears throat> and touch it from here to here. Pretty simple. Um, and uh, I definitely recommend these EBL batteries. You can get, uh, for example, you can get four of the 14500s, which is the double A size. These are the 10440s. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, you can get four of these and a very high quality charger for like 20 bucks on Amazon. This is a Nightcore uh, IntelliCharger 2, the, or the new version, whatever. Excellent charger for lithium batteries. Um, the, the charger that came with these are basically the same as this. It just has two, two uh, you know, slots instead of four, but they're great. So uh, anyway, I hope that was helpful for somebody.